Okay, let's talk about hair biology and what is hair and why do we have hair? Easily put, hair is a hardened keratin. Basically, hair on the top of our head is designed to insulate, which means to keep us warm, trap in all of that warm air, and it's also there to protect us. So some of the functions for having hair is it will regulate our body temperature, it will also insulate our human body, and it provides a physical barrier between us and the cold air. You'll also notice that hair grows in other places. So we have hair in our ear canals. We also have eyelashes and eyebrows, and we have hair in our nostrils. This is designed to stop foreign bodies from easily accessing it into the body. So it's all about protection. The first part of our hair is what we call the hair follicle. This is where the hair is anchored onto the skin. In this, it's where the hair bulb forms at the base and that the hair has its living cells that are growing and dividing that actually start to build the hair cell. To be provided all the hormones, the nourishment and all the goodness that our hair needs to grow, it is supplied that through our blood vessels. It delivers hormones which help our hair growth and it'll also promote our hair growth. Our dermal papilla is the next thing that is responsible for our hair growth. It will also regulate the size of the hair follicle. It is just connective tissue working together that has all of its nerves and blood vessels in there. Then we have the layers of the hair shaft. As hairdressers, this is probably the most important thing that we need to know with hair as we don't delve into cutting into the skin or anything like that. So the three layers of the hair that we talk about and we need to know are the cuticle, which is the outside layer. Then we have the cortex, which is the middle layer. And then the inner, inner, inner layer is called the medulla. So the first thing we want to talk about is the cuticle. Think of the cuticle as hardened scales that flatten over each other. I tend to kind of talk about this as being similar to tiles on the roof of a house. The reason we have a roof on our house is to keep everything locked in and nice and safe. It's the same with the cuticle. So the cuticle is there to keep everything inside our hair. So our moisture, our oils, and also all of our hair color pigments. If you don't have the cuticle, so you've had hair damage or sometimes curly hair doesn't have a lot of cuticle and finer hair types can have a small amount of cuticle, you will find that your hair is easily broken and a little bit more on the fragile side. Then we're gonna talk about the cortex. This makes up 80% of hair's bulk. It is also the majority of where chemical processes take. So when dealing with color, this is where all your color pigments are stored and where all of your processes start to happen. It also is responsible for hair shape and elasticity and our moisture intake. And then the last part is the little center hollow area and this is called the medulla. It actually doesn't have much of a reason for being there and no one really knows. It has been discussed as maybe being the garbage part of the hair and where it will hold if you have had any previous stresses and maybe it will store chemicals or drugs in the system. This has not been fully discovered or worked out as yet. And that is the basics of your hair.